Hi to my beautiful sweet coconuts. I'm Enjoy K here, and today we're going to be doing a reading on who is hot and bothered by you. I'm sorry, I think of the title. Anyway, I have two piles to choose from. First, if you come across this page, you like this video, please like, subscribe, you know, follow, say what's up, comment if it resonated for you. Let me know if I'm doing good or not. Just, you know, show your girl some love. Let me know what's up. Let me know what I need to do. But anyway, um, two piles to choose from. One, two. You can choose a rock. You can choose a stone. You can choose the pile, I mean the cards, whichever one you feeling. So again, this reading is who is hot and bothered by you. We're gonna be doing two parts. So we're gonna hop right into pile one on who is hot and bothered by you. Who is hot and bothered by Pile One, please, Spirit? Who is hot and bothered by Pile One, please? I just heard you ain't nothing but a dog. You a heartbreaker. Okay. Three of Swords. Queen of Pentacles, Five of Cups, the world. Three of Cups. So whoever this person was, um, was not on your level emotionally, that's for sure. We got the Justice, Knight of Swords. So I'm going to take all these with the Three of Wands. For some of you guys, I'm getting you either were, were proposed to this, not proposed, but engaged to this person with the Justice card in reverse that came out. Either you guys were engaged to this person or you were divorced. Either way it go, you, you, some of you guys were married to this person. But at the end of the day, this person definitely was someone who was definitely immature. Um, guy or girl, take it how it resonates. But if you were a guy dating a woman, she was, um, she was very immature. She didn't know how to carry herself like a woman. And I think you brought that to her attention with the page of wands. And also with a woman, I felt like you brought to attention that the person you were seeing, the guy you were um, either married to or not married, engaged, however it goes, you know what type of relationship you have with this person. But um, yeah, you, you didn't like the way they carry themselves as a man. You probably wanted more from them and you probably told, you guys probably mentioned that to them and you know they didn't really feel they didn't like that feeling it's like you broke their heart yeah with the three of swords and the five because like when you guys told them about themselves about how you felt about them it's like okay um i don't think this gonna work because you're not trying to change it's like you was trying to change this person this person did not want to change again it's all about energy this person did not want to change so you have walked away from you let them go um, I feel like this person still has some love for you, but I don't feel like the love is like all the way there because I feel like this person still holds some resentment towards you as well. Um, that's just what I'm getting with the Five of Cups and the Three of Swords. But at the end of the day, um, the reason why they're hot and bothered by you is because you're in your Queen of Pentacles energy, guy or girl, it does not matter. But I feel like you are just more focused on yourself. You don't care about this person for real. Uh, I guess some of you guys barely don't think about this person at all. Like, yeah, you guys are too bu too busy focused on your future, looking forward, looking ahead in life. You are feeling completed. You are at home. You are happy. You are doing your thing. And this person is really bothered by it because it's like you told this person off about themselves and they did not like that. So, yeah. They did not like how you make them feel about the whole situation. So the person that's hot and bothered by you, let's get some more information. Yeah, with the three of wands, you just moved away from this person and you probably live long distance from this person as well. Yeah, like I said, with the nine of pentacles, you just worried about yourself. This person wasn't even like, they didn't even know how to love you for real anyway. And that's another thing you probably told them about. 
But yeah, we got to look the Wheel of Fortune. Like, focus on yourself. Like, you're not worried about it with the lovers right there, too. You're not worried about this person. And that's why they're so hot and bothered by you. Because it's like, this person wanted to come in, tell you how they feel, you know. Or you probably just chase this person off, too. <laughs> Take it how it resonates. But I feel like this person, if they try to come back in, I feel like they want to come in and, like, tell you about yourself and how you make them feel. Like I said, I feel like this person still has some love for you with the Ace of Cups. But it's still some animosity. So, let's just go ahead and get some clarification on who this person may be this is their hidden thoughts so we're just gonna see um how they're feeling and we know what what they what you need to hear their hidden thoughts about you i'm just gonna pull it right out so what are the hidden thoughts about the person on their mind why they're hot and bothered by oh look the first card that popped out envious so yeah, I'm trying to tell you this person is upset because you just moved on. You live in life. You're not chasing after this person. Maybe you guys did used to chase this person in the past as well. You probably chased this person to um, get like get this person to act right. Like you wanted this person to be in your life for real with the justice in the world card. I'm really getting you wanted this person to be in your life. But it just wasn't worth it because this person was, like, envious of, like, the way you moved, the way you carried yourself, and they couldn't live up to that. Okay, so what else, Spirit? You guys may have threesomes with each other, or you guys, this person tried to have a threesome with you, or you, um, or you guys did engage into threesomes, and this person is mad because, you know, you wasn't they felt like you wasn't spontaneous enough for them as well or you felt like this person was too spontaneous <laughs> take it how it resonates <laughs> what else i keep getting you ain't nothing but a dog i don't know why talk about starting a family yeah what i say you guys were definitely um engaged or had a family or however it went but you guys had some type of family dynamic with the justice in the world card three of swords either way it go you guys talked about having something serious and it didn't probably work out that way for the people who are single you know you probably did talk about having a family with this person yeah not giving up on this relationship so again like i was saying this person wants to come in they still have love for you, but I don't think it's, like, really worth exploring. I'm going to just be honest. But, yeah, this person saying they're not giving up on this relationship. Yeah, this person is dominant about you. This person felt like maybe you had a dominant role in their life. And this is good and bad cards, just FYI, guys. But this person felt like you were um too dominant. You was too strong-minded. And they didn't like that. They didn't like how you, I don't know, I just look right at the dream. D, D, this person initial can have a, have a D, E, but it don't matter. But anyway, this person was upset because they're hot and bothered by you because you were focused on your dreams and you're only worried about your dreams. And you just left this person behind and you just doing you, living with you, doing you, hanging low key, low key, low key. <laughs> Yeah, sweet and feminine. They like how you're sweet and feminine now. All right, let's get a couple cards and we're going to end this. I gave my all to you. And what else? No game. Trying to run game. So, yeah, this person may try to come in acting like, you know, trying to love bomb you. Acting like they um miss you and everything. So... They're going to be trying to run a game knowing they ain't got no game. But, yeah, they saying that they get it all to you. So, let's see. Let's just get some clarification. I did not try to make it this long, but I needed a reading like this anyway. It's been a while. All right, Spirit King, just clarify this, please. I wish I can take my words back. And I know I messed everything up. So, yeah, and it says, I'm so attracted to you at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, like with the sweet and feminine, I'm trying to tell you, this person likes your sweet and feminine, femininity. Um, guy or girl, does not matter, or switch around, however it go. But, um, 
like I said, some of you guys, you said some words to this person or, or this person ended up saying some words to you. But at the end of the day, this person is wishing they can take either back the words. They wish you can take back your words that were said or they wish they can take their words back. Either way it goes, some words is messed up. Um, some words were exchanged and it's saying this person is saying i know i messed everything up you know i'm i'm afraid to contact you yeah i can't stop thinking about you at the bottom of the deck so um yeah guys this person is definitely you know you got this person on your mind i mean this person is on your mind to yeah, you might have this person on your mind as of right now, duh, obviously because you're on this reading. But um, I'm going to say this person is definitely thinking about you really hard. So I feel like this person just like stare off into space and in, in the sky and it's, you know, just be staring off, like zoning out, thinking about you. Reminiscing. Reminisce on the love we had. Okay, let's just... um get one more one more thank you you came closer than anyone what i say you guys either was engaged to this person y'all talked about having a family but i'm telling you, telling you this person just hot and bothered by you because you just don't really give a damn no more for real you say you it says you don't know how hard it was to let you go yeah this person walked away from you or you walked away from this person after some words was exchanged and the reason why this person is hot and bothered by you because you told them about themselves and you said i don't give a fuck and moved on and did you worried about you please just clarify this reading please yeah six of cups well i was, I was gonna say that six of cups playing my watch someone from your past a past love rem reminiscing what i say um what else we got four of pentacles so yeah this person is holding back from contacting you and with the nine of pentacles like i said you out here doing your thing you worried about your money you don't care this person may be going through some financial hardships right now or you just worried about your financial hardships you ain't worried about nothing else you just worried about pinnacle money energy because i'm just getting four of you worried about stability nine of pentacles you worried about just material comfort having your money where it needs to be. You're not really worried about this past person, but this past person worried about you. You going to something new and better. You creating ideals. You doing you getting new beginnings. Yeah, at the nine of wands. Like you you standing strong. You're not worried about this person, but this person is trying not to hold back anymore. But um yeah, they're trying to get the strength and the courage to come towards you. Yeah, nine of cups, you bring this person wish fulfillment. Alrighty, so pile one, that is what I have for you on who was hot and bothered by you. Hope those messages resonate for you. I'm sorry I didn't have time to do um, initials. So thank you so much for watching. If these messages resonated for you, please like, subscribe, show your girl some love. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. to hi to my beautiful pile twos welcome to sweet coffin entertainment and this is a reading on who is hot and bothered by you if you come across these messages please like subscribe show your girl some love follow comment let me know if you know if these messages are resonating for you and you know say what's up too let me know what i need to do a little better or however all right, so let's hop right into this reading on who is hot and bothered by you. All right. So we're going to go on with the tarot. Then we're going to go on with some um, their thoughts. Get some hidden oracles. All right. So for this pile, this is like, I just want to, I just heard take it slow. I want to take it slow. I don't know. Because like with this pile, 
I'm not even shuffling the cards how I usually shuffle. So I'm getting this person really want to take it slow with you. Yeah, with the six of wands. So let's see who was hot and bothered by you. <laughs> Angels and ancestors. Who is hot and bothered? By Pal 2, please. Who is hot and bothered? By Pal 2. I'm gonna take it slow. I don't know why I keep getting I wanna take it slow. <laughs> oh, shoot, this is definitely some type of earth sign, that's for sure. Or a water, I mean, or a water sign with the Empress. Whoa, I wanna take it slow with the world card. Okay, let me get well, what's right here with the high priestess. Yeah. Okay, let me start right here. Pile two. Whoever is um hot and bothered by you is someone you definitely have some type of um I'm really getting this is a sugar daddy, sugar mama type of energy. I'm not even gonna lie with the Empress. Like this is someone who is either older man or woman does not matter i i got a feeling like some of you guys was dating someone older than you and you were just this person was just giving giving to you like this person was like working hard just to give to you <laughs> so yeah with the ace with the two of pentacles and the ace of pentacles i felt like this person who the person that's hot and bothered by you i just i want my money back that's where I'm just being honest. This person is saying they want their money back because I feel like this person with the eight of coins, they invested in invested into you a lot, and you guys did not work out with the two of wands. Like I feel like you guys parted ways. <laughs> you got to with the two of wands. Like you guys parted ways. Like you blocked this person out of your life, and you went and did you with the two of wands like yeah you went off you traveled you moved across the world or across the states country wherever you did but you left this person you left this person feeling stuck and stagnant with the hangman yeah with the world of fortune you worried about good things happening for yourself we had nine of coins at the bottom of the deck so yeah you was all you just moved on and started focusing on yourself so um at the end of the day this person could be an earth sign, um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and then with the Empress can be a Pisces uh, with the world card, you know, take it however it resonates. But yeah, I feel like this person is um, bothered by you because you let them go. Yeah, with the four coins, you let them go. Not and um, they want to come back. They want to come back. I, well, the high priest came out, about to say with the high priestess too. High priestess came out anyway. You know who this person exactly is. That's all I'm gonna say. You know exactly who this person is. So, um, yeah, again, with the death and rebirth, you said cut that motherfucker loose and went on about your way. This person is really upset, but I feel like this person still wants to come in begging for your forgiveness. That's for sure. I don't know why they want to beg for your forgiveness with the higher friend. Like, I'm really getting begging energy. But it's like they want you to take them back. Like, I feel like they'll, they'll even want to, like, spend money on you. That's how much. Like, they indecisive about spending more money on you with the two of coins. I feel like they still undecisive. Like, should they keep trying to invest into you or should they let you go? But... At the end of the day, I feel like this person, if they let you go, they're going to be a little lost without you. Or if you already let this person go, they lost without you and they need you back into their life. And with the Ace of Pentacles, they're willing to buy you. They're willing to, like, invest into you again and just get it to just to get a brand new start. Like, they will, like, buy your love from you. Like, weird shit. So, um... <laughs> Let's just see what this person hidden thoughts is, you know, what else, why they're hot and bothered. This is their hidden thoughts. I'm just going to pull from the cards. This is good and bad in here. So whatever comes out, I've just seen the envious card again. Came out in power one. So spirit and ancestors, what is this person hot and bothered by? For power two. 
I gave to other connections. Yeah, this person felt like you were giving to other connections while they were giving to you. And that's just how they're feeling. This is their hidden thoughts. This person felt like you were giving to other connections. It says, I like to dress and act like you. So, uh, I don't know. I just got from this. I, I just heard, like, if you're in a same-sex relationship, this person likes to copy you, try to be like you. Yeah, you guys may have had threesomes or this person wanted to have threesomes or this person feel like you're having threesomes, but they're hot and bothered by that because they're thinking that like this person um, maybe thinks you're having threesomes with people. Yeah, so oh, we just got, oh, that's not y'all's, but yeah, I don't know. Pick the one. Anyway, shining light. So yeah, this person is looking at you as a shining light. They see you like really in your empress energy. You still out here looking good. Guy or girl, that's not matters all about energy. But you're still out here looking good, sitting on your throne, doing you, hanging low key. Um, July, this person could be born in July or you could be born in July. Or maybe you guys split in July or this person may try to hit you up in July. So, But July is significant for whoever. I don't like going out with you because you get more attention. Oh, yeah. Emperor's energy out here trying to tell you this is how this person feel about you. Let's get a couple more. This is why they're hot and bothered by you. I have stolen money from you before. Yeah, I won't put it past you with all that pinnacle energy. But maybe this person thinks you stole money from them. Or you, yeah, maybe they did steal some money from you too. I won't put it past these people. So we got why you and not me. So yeah, with this why you and not me. Some shit coming back. Anyway, um, but with that, why you not me? This person is like saying, like, why are you not in the pain that they're feeling? You know, why I have to be them the pain? Why has to? Why they have to have the pain? And you just out here doing you? They hot and bothered by that. So let's see what else piled to. Let's just go in two, two, two on the clock as I say this. So yeah, let's just go in. You guys may be seeing synchronicities as well about this person. So, what is their hidden thoughts, pretty spirit? The person. Okay, we're gonna take those in. Finding out the truth crushed me. I'm so attracted to you. I want to tell you how I feel. So yeah, this person is definitely um. Still attracted to you again, more empress entry. This person is kept like this person find you so attractive. That's just what it is. They still in love with you. They still find you to be sexy as hell. It says I left when I saw you with someone. Yeah, like I said, this person think you with somebody, or you having three sons with people. I read those, but yeah, finding out the truth crushed me. So this person may be hearing things about you, and it's like at the end of the day, I like I said with the begging energy, they want to come back and tell you how they feel. They really still want you back, even though they feel like you took from them and you stole from them. Whatever. As a very baby come back, you can blame it all on me. <laughs> yeah, it's time for this person to heal now. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Yeah, so many things remind me of you. So yeah, like I said, this person is definitely still all up in your energy still trying to manifest you back into them because they know they can't get over you this is like somebody you probably was like in a, some type of long-term commitment with because again like i feel like this person really invested in you when they when i heard that uh um i spent i don't know i just that players club image just came out here where he said diamond i spent a lot of money on you so this is how this person feels but anyway um let's just go ahead and clarify this if these messages resonated for you please go ahead like subscribe show your girl some love so we're just gonna go ahead and clarify we got six of wands came out anyway eight of pentacles we had ten of swords what's at the bottom nine of swords eight of 
Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, it's somebody you probably was in like some time. This person wanted to build a family with you. Um, again, then we got more Pisces energy out here. So some of you guys can be a Pisces or someone who's just very intuitive, someone's very emotional, caring. This is how they see you. Or this is how they thought they see you with the five of cups. Now they like you ain't shit. They and they feelings about you, yeah, with the ten of swords. They're like really hot and bothered by you because they thought you was somebody who was loving and caring. Now they're looking at you as a, a motherfucker who took from them and put a burden on them and left their ass behind and went off and had success with someone else. And you know, and you out here working on you, doing you, being creative, and you just living your life. Yeah, the nine of swords, you shot out on the ass. So anyway. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching, pal, too. Bye. These status tools are hot and bothered by you. Sorry. <laughs> Bye.